Very tersorophy. We often place one or two sutures um, near the lateral canthus to um, close the eyelid. And again, our landmarks are the meibomian gland openings. And again, this is a little bit of a, a desiccated um, eyelid, so it's going to be fun. And this is a, a modified horizontal mattress suture. So I'm going to start here near the lateral canthus. Often I'll take my forceps and I'll actually grab um, on the outside and the inside of the lid gently and just roll it out slightly so that I can um, visualize the eyelid margin where we have our meibomian gland openings. And magnification is very helpful um, to see these little dit dots that kind of line the edge of the eyelids. Our first bite is going to be about four millimeters from the eyelid margin. It is going again to split the thickness of the eyelid and our needle is going to exit the eyelid margin right in the region of where those little meibomian glands are. We're then going to go across the eyelid from the upper to the lower. My eyelid is stuck to the eyeball a little bit there. And again, I kind of gently grasp the inner and outer part of the lid and roll outward so I can visualize my meibomian gland openings. I'm going to go into the gland opening and take a bite and exit away from the lid margin. So this is going down in one direction. Now I'm going to return back to the upper lid. And so I am switching my needle direction and I'm going to be backhanding my bites all the way back up. And I'll go just next to where my bite was, just a few millimeters in between. So I start at the haired skin away from the eyelid margin. I take a bite that's about half thickness of the lid and I have my needle come out of the eyelid margin. And this is definitely a little bit of some abnormal tissue here, so I used a little bit more force than I normally would. <coughs> and then I'm going to stay in alignment of where that bite was, but go across to the upper lid, enter the meibomian gland openings, and come out about four millimeters away from that edge. So now I have completed this horizontal mattress suture, and what I'd want to do is tie this to close the eyelids and see how we have just kind of perfect apposition of the lids. So there's no rolling inward where hairs would touch the cornea. There's no rolling outward where the suture would touch the cornea. And then here is where we would place, um, say like a surgeon's knot for security to um, hold these lids closed. It depends on the situation and the surgeon whether or not we place stents when we do this. So if there's a lot of swelling and we're worried about tension on the suture, possibly cutting through this abnormal tissue, we can use um, IV tubing, uh, we can use a little bit of rubber bands or the red rubber catheters and take our bites through those stents first before we go through the lid and that creates a little bit of cushioning and I can walk you guys through that. So the idea is that you want to have this nice and closed without any gaps in between the upper and the lower eyelid.